Hello, welcome to this short tutorial on how to make the butterfly weave. So as we can see, the butterfly weave is a beautiful chainmail unit that can be used connected together or singularly as a gorgeous center to a bracelet, center to a necklace or an earring. So to make this weave, we need three different sizes of chainmail jump rings. We need our seven mil inner, which is what our inner, our Mobius rings are in the middle. We need our 5mm inner diameter and our 4mm inner diameter. You can then connect these together how, how you like. So I've just connected these together with a simple Mobius ring. Now the tools that you're going to need to create the chainmail section are two pairs of chain nose or flat nose pliers. So in this case, I have some bent nose pliers and some chisel nose pliers. Um, they're just my preferred choice when it comes to when it comes to chain mail. I also use a knotting awl just to help me see where my next gap is going to be, if you like, where to put the next jump ring. And we're also going to utilize just a little bit of scrap, scrap wire just to hold some of the jump rings out of the way while we're working. Now, because um, obviously it's going to be quite difficult to see in the smaller jump rings. I'm now going to move to my larger jump rings and we will um, get started with the weave. Okay, to start the butterfly weave, what we need to start with is we need three seven mil jump rings. Okay, so we're gonna take our first seven millimeter jump ring and we're gonna add on eight closed four millimeter jump rings. So we add all eight onto there. Now this is to make two wings, so four go to one side and four go to the other for the actual wing itself. And we're going to close this up. Now you can keep this central jump ring singularly, but it does look beautiful when it's done as a Mobius ring. You can also go down to a five millimeter inner diameter jump ring here if you like. I prefer the seven mil because it gives the body a little bit more um, distance between the two wings. So I'm now going to take my second five mil, uh, sorry, seven mil jump ring, and I'm gonna go through all eight of those four mil jump rings. And before I close this jump ring, I'm going to Mobius it. So I'm going to duck it underneath and cross it over the previous seven millimeter jump ring and close. So what you have now, if I just split those eight apart, as you can see, that center jump ring is starting to Mobius around. So what we're going to do now is going to do exactly the same with your last seven millimeter jump ring. Now, if you're doing this in the five millimeter jump rings, you will find this last one a little bit tricky to get in because there's not a lot of room left now to get this one in. But with the seven mil jump rings, it's absolutely fine. So I've gone through all eight of the four mil jump rings. And again, this time I've got to duck underneath both of those two seven millimeter jump rings to actually create that Mobius and close. So now what I have, if I take four jump rings to one side and four to the other, I now have got my beautiful Mobius unit in the middle with four, we four jump rings either side. So we're gonna take our little piece of wire and we're going to just wire four of those jump rings out of the way. So we're going to work on just one of the wings to start with, or one of the sides. So I'm just going to twist that out of the way just so it doesn't they don't interfere with what we're doing. So now we're going to work on these four four millimeter jump rings. So the next thing I need now is I need two five millimeter jump rings, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a five millimeter jump ring and I'm going to split this four into two pairs. And I'm just going to go through and connect one five millimeter jump ring through a pair of four millimeter jump rings. So what I've got now is I have this. So I have two pairs that are now connected together so I've now gone from four to two okay now what we need to do is we need our next two five millimeter jump rings 
And if we look back at the first four, okay, so we've got one, two, three, and four. What we want to do is we put our next five millimeter jump ring back on these four here, but we're only going to put it on numbers jump ring number two and jump ring number three. Okay, so I'm going to just take the knotting all out, take my jump ring and just pop it through jump ring number two and jump ring number three. Okay, and close. So what we have now is that now is sitting in the centre of those two that we previously popped on. So you can see we've now got three jump rings that are attached to the original four on the top. Now with this weave, what we do on one side, we have to turn over and we do on the other side. Then we need our another, our next four mil, uh, sorry, five mil jump ring, and we're going to mirror that red jump ring. So remember it went on to jump rings number two and three. We're going to do exactly the same. Just pop it through jump ring number two and jump ring number three. So it's only going to connect to those two jump rings and close. So now what we have is we have our red jump rings that are mirrored back and front. And we now have our other two five mil jump rings that were attached to the original pairs on the side. Now if we just lay this down, actually it's probably better if I keep it here, you can see it better. We've now got quite a few gaps that we can see. So we've got a gap that's here that's just on the outside in between the red jump rings and the gold jump rings. We have a gap that's here that's going through both red jump rings and one single gold jump ring. We have a gap in the middle, which is what we call our eye. So you can see there that marquee shape or that eye that's there. We then have another gap either side of that eye. So exactly the same here. So the gap here and the gap here. So this one goes through both red and a gold. And then we have our single gap at the back there that just is going through by the side of the gold jump ring. So what we need to do now, so if I just hold it, I'll just lift the camera a little bit just so you can see. So you can see there we have our five gaps. So what we need to do now is we're going to put our next and last two jump rings for this side through gap number two and gap number four. OK, so we've got one, two, the eye in the middle, three, four and five. So we're going to go through gap number two, gap number five, uh, four, sorry. So we're going to take two more jump rings. Now this time we're going back to our four millimetre jump rings. And we're going to put our first one in place. And that's going to go through gap number two. So if I turn it to the side, you can see there that I've encapsulated the two red jump rings. So the front and back middle jump ring and the jump ring that's on my right hand side. So this last four mil jump ring has gone through all three of those and close. Now to make it easier for myself, I'm going to move this chain mail weave now and turn it over. So I'm working on my preferred side. So again, if you like from, from right to left, it's gap number two we're going through again. So I'm going to pick up my next jump ring and go through gap number two okay and close so now what we have is we have the first half of our butterfly wing so what we're going to do now is undo the wire on the other side and we're just going to go a little bit quicker this time and we're just going to show you how we're going to create exactly the same so i'm going to need the same amount of jump rings so two 5 mil, another 2 5 mil, and 2 4 mil at the end. Okay, so we're going to go back to our original four, split them into two pairs, we're going to take our gold jump rings and connect those into pairs. So there's one and the second one. Okay, we then go back to the original four and we pick up jump rings number two and three. On the centre and close and what we do on one side we turn over and we do on the other 
So again, you get back to where all four of them are sitting splayed out apart. And pick up jump rings number two and three again. And close. And we're back now to the gaps in the middle. So we want gap rip number two from right to left. Okay, so I'm just going to pick up my four mil jump ring and I go through gap number two. And you can see there that's gone through there nicely. And close. And now I prefer to turn my work over, so I'm working on my preferred side, which is my right hand side. And again, gap number two from right to left. Through there, we can still see that eye in the centre. And close. And there you have your full butterfly unit. Like I say, you can use these singularly. It looks beautiful if you just have half a wing as well. So if you wanted to put an earring find in at the top and a gemstone at the bottom, you can do. But you've now got a beautiful section that you can then add in to your finished piece. And if I just show you how I've attached it to the pendant here. So I've just got my butterfly unit here going through and I've just done two Mobius rings and then I've attached the pendant with a three mil jump ring. Okay, so that is your butterfly weave. If you have any problems um, doing this weave, just get in contact with me on JM Guest Designer Fleur Hastings on Facebook. Send me a message and I'll help you as much as I can.